Let's move okay. on with the show now. And it's time to talk about uh, the uh, let's review. Okay, what well, went down? Went yeah. down ah. at IWA World Championships uh, in Doha, Qatar. Cecilia and Nigeria placed uh, 31st with a bronze medal. Yeah, of course, we were on the medal. Medals that's table. what my, that's what really matters because a lot you know of countries, many countries didn't get didn't in there. Exactly, loads of just them. no show. Just go there, show up, and get. It. <laughs> well, we got something. I mean, we made three finals, yeah. and at the end of it, we got one bronze medal. Totally so, is right. it plus? All right, then let's let's go to Germany now, yeah. right? Absolutely. Germany, where. Um, Virgin Olympics uh, silver medalist uh, Franka Idoko joins us now to review Nigeria's performance. Franka, it's great to have you on the show. Hi. <laughs> it's a pleasure for me. All right, it's great to have you, Cham. Um, I, I know you followed everything that went down uh, in Doha, Qatar, because you're, you know, you're no longer running now, but then you're still a big fan of Nigerian athletics. So Nigeria went to the championship and they won a bronze medal, placing 31st on the table. You'd say, I mean, you could say that's not the greatest uh, achievements, but I mean, it's still something to celebrate. But for you, I'd like to know your overall thoughts on Nigeria's performance, your assessment of Team Nigeria. Honestly? Yeah. Yes, honestly. Honestly, <laughs> it's sad. Wow. It's a very sad performance, you know, and imagine Nigeria going to a world championship and coming back with just one bronze medal. Thank God we got the bronze medal. Hmm. Women made us proud. But we can get more. We can get more. We have very good athletes, talented athletes in Nigeria. We can get more. The championship for me was a sham. It's, wow. not, it's nothing to write them about. It's very poor. Poor performance. Poor performance. They need to do something. I don't know. I think um, the Nigerian system needs to upgrade their system. In every way, they need to upgrade. Hmm. In the coaching system, they need to upgrade. In um, support of the athletes financially and um, welfare, they need to upgrade. We can't be doing the same thing all over, all over again. For me, it doesn't make any sense. Oh. Ten years ago, it was the same thing. When you go for a competition, and then you are in the finals, and then you see the whole Nigerian say, promising you heaven and earth. I think that was what happened to, happened to Toby Amoso. Mm. She was in a very good shape to win that competition. But I think she got, a little, uh, she got a lot of pressure from the country, I can say, because then they'll be promising you get this gold, we give you this, get this one, we give you this. It's a lot. You need to prepare forehand, not mm. in this competition. I think um, Nigeria needs to change a lot of things. For example, in the welfare of the athletes. They need to prepare, like... Um, a system where you can put the athletes in camp for like six months or before more. The American, they do that. Germans here where I am, they do that a lot. Mm. So they need to like have a system where you can prepare these athletes. You don't just go to a competition and give what you don't have. The athletes give what they have. They cannot give more than that. Mm. In the four by one relays women, I watched it because I love to watch it. They run very good, but they can't give what they don't have. The lady that ran the last leg, she did, for me, that's her best, but her best wasn't good enough. Rosemary Chikuma. Yeah, her best wasn't good enough. They ran a very first, second, and third leg. But the last leg, if she was faster with like 11.3 mm. or even 11.2, they will be in the finals. And in the finals, anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah, but it was so, it's not her fault. That is why I talk about the coaching system. Nigerians need to also upgrade their coaching system. I think something is missing, a dart or something is missing. We need to get it straight. Wow. These athletes have it in them. They can perform in the world stage. And then, okay, look at Edna Saar, the girl that won the 400, 48.1. She's Nigerian. She has Nigerian blood. That True. is to tell you that any Nigerian here at home or abroad can do it. All they need is a necessary support. Oh. It's a woman can even try. She can attempt, attempt a, a world a record. Mm. She's still young. She has everything. She has a coach. Her coach also needs to be encouraged. You can't give what you don't have. Franca. If you encourage the coach, he will put it, he will put everything he has in the athletes. Franca, she needs it. Franca you're very spot on. In terms of the talents, uh, there's no issue whatsoever. There are so many talents, very good athletes in Nigeria. But we've always known administration and management has been a problem for a very long time, even during your time. 
So I'd like to compare your time. I know you're still monitoring what's going on back in Nigeria. Let's compare administration of track and field, the management of the sport during your time and now. Is it worse or, or are they getting better? <laughs> to be honest, it's going poor, Ooh. poor, and poorer every day. It's not getting better. And it's supposed to be getting better. If you put it on a graph, it's mm. coming down mm. from now and 10 years before. 10 years before was better than now. Because then we got um, grants, though not enough, but at least it will help us prepare. This time around, the athletes are not getting anything. So for me, the administrative-wise, very, very poor. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. They're putting a lot on football. They should also, like, try to share their tentacles to all the sports. We are all um, sports, you know. They should try to, like, improve on every other sport, not on one sport alone. Mm. To be honest, the administrative is very poor. Whoever is in charge, I think they need to overhaul the whole um, sport administration. They need to, they need to get it right. We cannot be going down, 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 down the graph every day. People are upgrading and going up. Look at the performance of Jamaica. Look at the performance of the Americans. Mm. We can also do better than them, but we have a very poor administrative system. I'm sorry to say, but it's very, very poor. They need to do something about it. I don't know. Whoever is in charge, the ministry, they need to do something about it. The sport administration is very poor. During our time, it was, I can't say it's good, but it was fair. It was fair because we got what was due to us. We come for um, competitions and we get our tickets back to Europe. But this time around, look at our national trials. It's very poor. I don't know if that's the fault of the administrative system or the fault of the AFM. It was so, sh there was nobody there competing, only the home athletes. And the home athletes, they need the encouragement of the foreign-based athletes. That is the glamour of the sport. In those days, we want to run very fast so we can also go and be foreign-based athletes. So if you are not supporting them, if the administrative is poor and they cannot pay their tickets, my God, it's, it's poor. It's poor. They need to invite them. Oh. They need to improve on everything and make the national trials look so good so that um, all athletes can improve on their, you know, areas of... Um, Franca. Um, yeah. Strength. But it's very, very bad. Franca, kindly hold your thoughts there. Stay put. We need to go on this break. When we we'll come back, we'll continue... Uh, analysis, a uh, review of Team Nigeria's performance at the Doha Championships. You welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. We still have uh, Belgium's silver medalist, Belgian Olympics uh, silver medalist, uh, Franca Idoko, on Skype with us uh, all the way from Germany. She's helping us uh, review Nigeria's performance at the World Athletics Championships in Doha, Qatar. It just ended. On Sunday, Nigeria won a bronze medal, in case you missed it. The first since 2013, since Blessing Okagbari, since 2013. Also in long jump. Exactly. So, uh, Cecilia, here's your hands will listen. Yeah, I mean, Franka, you, you've been saying a lot, though, concerning the fact that we need, you know, to overhaul the coaching system administratively and, of course, just help how the athletes can really get better. In terms of welfare, you said during your time when you pay tickets and come to Nigeria, you get your ticket refund. But this days is difficult for these athletes now. Is there something maybe some of these athletes can really do? Because you speak with some of them, they will tell you that, look, if it's not working well for me in Nigeria, I have to, like, port. I mean, porting simply means going to other countries that can really, you know, afford to take care of their athletes. Um, if I must say, this our sport is business. Mm. You go to where, you are paid more. If the Nigerian system is not paying them well and they have better offers elsewhere, they can go. That is my own opinion. They can go. Because they are not treating the athletes well. The athletes need a lot of support. There's a, there, there is a point where an athlete can train up to. You need the support of the federation, the support of the ministry, to break that jinx, that point. But the athletes are not getting it. They try their best. They try their best in training. They try everything. But they are not there. They are not there. They need a lot more, a lot of support, a lot of support, a lot of um, welfare for them. They need a lot. You can't just take them to a competition and then expect miracles. This is athletics, world athletics. Or anybody you see there is a medal hopeful. Yes. They are the best in their country. They came there because they are the best in their country. You cannot take our own 
and you don't treat them well. Okay. They need to do something. They need to do. They need to do something for the athletes. These athletes, they have it in them. These athletes can perform at the world stage. We can perform under any pressure. All we need is the support of the government. The government needs to put a lot into athletics. Okay, that's which they're really not doing. We know that. Uh, yeah. The last time we, we won a medal at the Olympics was also your time, the 2008 Beijing Olympics. Uh, that was the last time we won a medal. 2012, 2014. I mean, right now we are going to Tokyo 2020. Is there something we can do differently, the way forward, for Nigerian athletes and also the administrative wise? The way forward is for them to prepare their athletes towards the 2020 Olympics. We have time. We still have nine months or thereabout before the Olympics. If you start now to prepare these athletes, I promise you we will be on the medal table in Beijing in uh, um, 2020 in Olympics. Tokyo, yeah. Yeah, Tokyo. We will be on the medal table. But if you don't prepare now, you don't invest on these athletes, you can't get it. It's just like an investment policy. If you invest, you get your proceeds and your profits. But if you don't, you can't get it. They need to invest in these athletes. If you don't invest on them, you can't get it. They cannot be there. You can't expect them to go to a, um, an Olympic stage and then you expect them to get miracles where you did not even put them in camp. Nigerians like this fire brigade approach. They go to camp a week or two before a competition. It doesn't work that way. They need to change it. Our AFN um, administration, they need to improve. They are, they are, it's sad what is happening in our AFN. The crew... So, thumbs down. Thumbs down for our AFN crew. I don't know what they're doing there. You can imagine the, the case of Blessing and Divine. And divine yeah. They made it clear they don't want to run the 100 and 200. And our technical um, crew still um, registered them for 102. Those are our medal hopes. We know they are good. They have represented very well in the season. We know they can give us something. Why will you? Morally, they were down because they got into the competition that morning. That's when they knew they were going to run. Morally, they were down. Mm. So it affects you. Athletics, you need to be mental, mentally alert. Mm. If you're not alert, you cannot be there. So mentally, our technical, technical word in the AFN, they the failed them. They failed them. They failed blessing and Oduduru. Mm. Because we need an explanation from them. We need, we need to know what happened because it's not normal. You know, you cannot take an athlete to a competition. He, has, he or she has made it clear, I don't want to run this event, and then you enter them in this event. That's what we're talking about. They need to, you can't force an athlete to run what they don't want to run. You know, they are not prepared for it. They know the shape they are. They know what they can give. So you support them towards what they can give. You don't like, okay, you can do it, you can. It doesn't work that way. We need, and we need people that are qualified to run the system. In our athletics, the, the whole official, they are not qualified. Mm. I don't know if they are there by merit or by what, but they are not qualified. They need, we need qualified people to run the system. Mm. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it's not going well. It's not going to be, we're still going to be on the same stage in, in, uh, in 2020. Mm. If you don't prepare, you don't get it. So we need, in, in the Athletics Federation, all the administration need an overhaul. Okay. Frank, I mean, we can go on and on and on about the problems. Um, but before I let you go, uh, surely there were positives at uh, the uh, World Championships, especially individually. Uh, you've said um, the Olympics is still about 290 days away, but you still believe that's enough time to make uh, an impact. What is athletes that we're looking at and what are the medal hopefuls apart from uh, divine and perhaps blessing? You see, um, if you look at it from time, from time, we, uh, we Nigerians are very good at relays. We run the relays and we go to the finals. Now we have um, even the mixed relays. You prepare athletes for um, uh, four by one women, four by one men. We go to um, the mixed relays. We we are sure we can get a medal there. Um, there's this um, young athlete that represented Nigeria in uh, the 400, Ophili. Ophili. She's a great talent. She is a great talent. If Nigeria invests in that girl, and give her, and other athletes, I'm not saying only her, but she right now is, is the one on the world stage and we are seeing at her age and in the world championships, semi-finals, is a lot of achievements. So if they start investing on her now, she will be our Edna Sar hmm. in Tokyo. Okay. Yeah. And, by, and by that, you mean <laughs> she's running for Nigeria, not for Qatar or 
any other country. And that also, that also, <laughs> na, that also because um, right now, at least we go where they are favored, where they yeah. get more money. We just hope now other countries are not talking to her. Of course, if Germans want to talk to her, we'll tell them to go and get her. She's a talent. So other countries do care. <laughs> other countries oh. can do that, you know. But Nigerians, but if Nigerians are investing on this artist, trust me, we go nowhere. We will, we will represent them. Mm. You know, we will, we will give them our best. But in a case where you don't invest in us, yeah. our will not be good enough. Mm. Yeah. Tokyo 2020 is nine months from now. Yeah. Nigeria should prepare. Okay. Should All prepare. Right. All right. Yeah. Preparations. Preparations. Yeah. Very, very, Preparation, very crucial. At least give them what is due for them. All right. Preparations, yeah. investments, very, very important. Crucial going forward. Franka, we want yeah. to thank you for your time on Spot This Morning. We really appreciate it. Hopefully, we can get you on uh, very soon again. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. All right. Thank you. Wow. Favor, Ophelia. You I hope go. other countries are not talking to her. I mean, that was actually playing in my head when she mentioned that name. Of but, course, they'll be talking But she said something her. I'm not happy. When the general come for her, she's going to say, go ahead and get her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I hope you are listening. I just have to work on the girl investment. That's really key. It is. Very, okay, very let's leave our letters now. And yeah. unlike football, mm -hmm. um, it's not as complicated yes. switching allegiance. It's easy. Just very. two years and that's it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy uh, to go and run for another country. But we hope that's not the case with Nigeria's brightest talents. Hopefully, we're able to retain them. But to do that, the authorities have to, you know, Invest, invest in, them. in them and reap and something good. Exactly.